Okay, guys, so welcome to my closet. Um, this is what you do when your kid is going through 18 month year old, I think, sleep regression and won't quit crying. Um, so you go to film outside and your neighbors next door decide that they're going to clean up from their 40 years of not cleaning their yard. Um, so the only semi-quiet spot I can find is my closet, which is sort of a running joke inside um, our team is that sometimes your only quiet work spot is your office. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to re-record this, and then I probably will do something a little bit more professional later, but this will serve the purpose for now. Basically, when we talk about your business, and you're in luck, I have my whiteboard this time talk about their, your business basically what we're going to talk about is there's four areas that you really honestly have to work on when you're trying to build your business the first part is your personal sales your personal part will be really important every single month there's no there will never be a time that your personal sales volume is not important to you and so it has to always have a top priority of your time and so you have to carve this time out if you don't do it it will not you will not spend the time needed to one stay in this cycle of hosting parties of getting hostesses and just staying in this constant, what we like to call this cycle, where, you, where you're just booking and then you're getting bookings off of that bookings and you just stay in this repetitive cycle, okay? And then maybe over here, every now and then you're doing some vending events, throwing in some things from your cold markets, finding new people, and they're being thrown in every now and then, but you stay in what we like to think of as this perfect circle. You keep yourself constantly rolling. As a growing leader, you should be very much having four to six parties a month. Repeat, four to six parties a month to be a growing team member. Yes, if you just want to maintain, you can shoot for three or four. But you, when you get down to two parties, what happens when one person cancels on you? That's when you're in that oh my gosh mode at the end of the month. So what I want you guys doing as we are growing for the next few months is to keep your calendars booked four to six every single month and keep yourself booked out. So like when a hostess when you do a party, you go ahead and rebook her next party. Okay? The next part of your business beyond your personal sales is what is going to be considered your coaching. And let me back up for one second. Also going back to your customer or to your personal sales is like your customer care. Okay? That falls in there too, following up with customers, revisiting them, sending them birthday cards, sending them anniversaries. Those are things you want to know about your customers and you keep gathering information on them. Just calling and saying, hey, the new catalog is out. These are four designs I thought you would love. Those different things, okay? The next part that we're going to talk about is coaching and team building. You have got to be at all times adding two plus members a month. Because we know that statistically, when we add, let's say that we add 10 people, we know that out of there we may get two rock stars and the other eight out of that, sorry, out of that, you may are probably going to get maybe two to three that do average and the others do nothing. They will end up maybe being those people that do something month one or two, but eventually they end up doing nothing. So that is why this plus two is so important and if really building a team should be more than that because you think about 
plus two, if that was your minimum, it takes you five months to get here to 10. So in five months, you may have two rock stars. Well, what we want is to keep ourselves double replenished. So when you're talking about that, for example, when we talk about getting to um, lead, you're going to need to have two active legs. Well, instead of two, I want you to start looking for four. We always want to stay doubled. When you get the team manager, when we start training for that, instead of looking for two leads, I want you to start having four on your team. So in case something would happen to one or two, you always have some people for cushion, okay? Now, team building is important, but also what's really important is this coaching. And the first thing that we start with is our fast start. We have got to become a culture of fast starters. We have got to help our team understand that we don't make fast start an option. We have started to make that a trend in our team saying, oh, well, you can sort of just work it as you want it. Okay, if we sell that story from the very beginning, you're selling yourself very short. That first month, you should help that girl have exactly four to six parties automatically that first month and what she needs to do within the first to two one to two days is she needs to make her lead list who are those first 50 people that she might could reach out to about the Jamberry opportunity you guys all have what the sneak peek at your fingertips your team ma managers, myself and Vanessa, have given you the tools to have a beautiful opportunity. All you have to do is tell someone about it, invite them to the sneak peek, and have them look at the album. Walk them through it. It's all written there for you. Take advantage of that. I know um, we're doing the 5 by 25 and I really would like for Vanessa's team to jump on this. I want you adding five people by the 25th of every month to your team sneak peek. Because out of that five, maybe you're going to get two that may be serious about it. And so when we go to this, your job to help that new recruit you get is in one to two days is to start thinking about who can she share it with. Who can she gather right along? It's better to join with a friend. Do it together. Also, who are other fabulous people for her to, to go ahead and jump with? First of all, we don't take advantage of this right here. And I'm going to move my computer down. The hostess reward. That $50 off, we don't take advantage of. And so every time you tell your fast track girls and you tell you teach your team this, that your number one recruit is the girl that sits there with the $350 party. Why is she not signing up for basically $50? Why? Why are we not telling her, girl, you have got this. I want you on my team. Let's do this together. I'll help you get started. Join my team right away. Okay, so coaching begins with fast track, and we're going to talk more about coaching and really what that looks like. You should be having um, what we call our coaching calls, and I'm going to help you start those. You should be having them with your sponsor and your team managers. If you're not, we're going to start those, and then trickling down, you're going to start eventually having these with your rock like your rock star leaders, okay? But I'm going to teach you that this month, so don't panic with that. So we have personal coaching, team building, and our last area that we really have to focus on is your professional growth. You have to carve out time in your business schedule for one, the Tuesday night calls, 
If you can't be there, you should listen to the playbacks. Non-negotiables, those are great calls. I know we have the new Jammer page um, for the Team Redefine members. And so um, Canada Girls, what it is basically is a, a big thing of resources when someone new joins. So all you got to do is um, ask me, say, I want to be a member of that. Some of you already are. All you're going to do is you can add your girls to that and walk them through. But you need to know those things backwards and forwards. You should have completed the Jamberry University. You should know it backwards and forward. You should go into that Jamberry library know those things backwards and forwards. You should be reading your own self-help books. What are the books you want to read this summer? Start asking people around. You should be watching videos. You should have the people that you follow. Who are the role models and network marketing that you follow. You all know that I love Sarah Robbins. So, um, and I also love the Million Dollar Party Girl. I love to follow their stuff. Who are the people you love to follow? Where do you get your tips? Where do you get your new ideas? What are you following? This is important for you to start working on too. So, this is a lot. So, unless you make a detailed plan to fit this into your life, it will never happen. Okay? So, how does this happen? So what we will do is every Sunday, and Sundays are just good because it's the good start of a week. So every Sunday night or Sunday during the day, and you can do it Saturday if it's better for you, you're going to sit down with your schedule template that I'm about to share with you, okay? Take this template here. You're going to sit down and you're going to carve out what are called your work hours. And it's important that you have your work hours. When is your business open? If you don't treat your business like a business, then it will never be open, okay? You want to grow your business, so you have to have business hours. Sit down, look at your week, look at your kids' schedules, your baseball schedules, you know, when do you have church, when do you have this, you know, maybe this week is heavier on Tuesday nights than Friday nights, when is it, okay? You should be working your hours inside of that time. All right, then you're going to see some minimums that I've given you inside of your work hours. There are minimums that you should have to work in your Jamberry schedule. Let's check those out now. All right, so as we look at your business hours now, you can see this is what you'll fill out. I've given you the days of the week, Monday through Sunday. Then the next column says, hours you're open for business. You'll list those out. Then the four categories that we just talked about, you're going to actually write in there. What are your actions? Because you should then think about, these are my actions that I will do during this time. So maybe on Mondays, you're going to spend roughly um, an hour here um, playing power hour, booking parties. And then you're going to spend 20 minutes writing thank you cards from the parties from last week. That's all the time that you have on Monday to work, okay? Then on Wednesday, maybe you have from, you put the kids to bed, and so you have 8.30 to 10 to work. And you're going to work then on team building. How are you going to do that? You're going to then take your seed book and you have some seeds that you've planted. You're going to follow up with those girls, inviting five of them to our sneak peek. You are also going to reach out and join the chamber um, at, in your local town. That way people start to see you as a businesswoman. Maybe that's something you're going to start doing. So, these are just examples of what you can do. Um, as we begin to move into this, you are going to want, you don't have to be nitty gritty in your detail, but you do need to make bullet points of what is the general task you're going to be doing. So, here are sort of the must-dos to grow your business. Each week, you should work a minimum of these areas and these categories because I believe these are powerful as you're starting to grow your business. One, 
a minimum of three hours in your personal sales and customer care. And that's outside of actually hosting your parties. So three hours and three hours will fly by. Now, do you have to work that all in one chunk? No. Maybe it's an hour on this day and an hour and a half on this day and 30 minutes on this day. But you should, in your schedule, I should see three hours there. Team building, I should see two hours of team building. Remember, team building is working on recruitment. Building your team, okay? Reaching out to people, sharing the opportunity. Maybe that's a one-on-one -on -one nail session with a girl you think would be great at Jamberry. Maybe that's making your um, your recruitment packets that you're going to drop off with some girlfriends um, that you've made some contacts with. Maybe that's adding some girls to our sneak peek and then the follow-up time that you're going to spend talking with them on the phone, okay? Downline coaching is two hours. Now, this can be interchanged um, until you have at least four active members. And we're going to talk more about what can you do with coaching. But right now, what I want you to do is touching base with your team members and asking them, what's your goal this month? How much do you want to make? Well, why do you want to make that much? What's the reason? Find the purpose. Is it is it to buy those diapers? Is it for dance lessons? And then talk about, well, how many parties? Maybe you even share the game plan with them and you help them design their first game plan. I'll give you more of a detailed way to coach, but you've got to build your team members. Maybe that two hours is spent um creating maybe the first week it's just building a bond with your team maybe that's a team call on your own you're welcome to schedule things like that google hangout is a great way because as you grow as a leader eventually once you hit team manager you're going to spread your wings and have your own team calls so i'm going to grow you in those things and then personal growth is two hours of your own you know that your team calls are going to take at least 30 to 40 minutes of that, then what's your other personal? Maybe you're interested in reading some things about hashtags. Maybe you picked up a great book you're interested in. Maybe you do want to reconnect with some other big leaders, maybe that you want to pick their brains on. So you're going to have a total of nine hours a week plus your party time. Now you may go, I don't have nine hours I can spend. Oh, really? That's roughly 5% of your week. Stop saying you don't have time. You do. We have to start making time for our businesses. I calculated all the hours you have in a week. Nine hours is 5% of your week. Make it happen. You can do it. Now, be detailed in your planner. Your um. The more focused the goal, the better you are. I actually use a, an app called um, the 3030 app, and it's a timer, basically. And I use mine in a, I set a timer, and so if I say I'm going to spend an hour here, I would set my timer for an hour, and then it goes off, and then I move to my next task. That helps me stay very focused. And during that hour, I'm not checking Facebook. I'm not checking emails. I'm not looking at, you know, you guys, I may see you sending me stuff, but that is my time to get my business going. So do not spend it checking Facebook, anything like that. All right, so you'll need to upload your planner. So you'll see that I will post a post every Sunday night that says something like, show us your planner for the week, show us your business hours. You'll take a photo of it and upload it, okay? You will need to make sure your accountability partner has posted. That's part of your job is the accountability jam mate partner is to make sure your partners is there by midnight. So maybe you want to look at your partners and go, I love that. Let's talk about it. Maybe that's time in your professional growth is that you guys spend 30 minutes on the phone together. I think that's a great way to grow. Now, you're going to have time to try this this week. So you're going to try for 30, I mean, excuse me, you're going to try and have this posted by Wednesday night. So really what all you're planning for is Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay, and um, in Sunday, you can post, you can plan for Sunday or you can let your Sunday roll 
onto, well, actually, it'll roll, no, plan Sunday this week, and then the following week, because they don't post till midnight, you'll start Monday, you'll go Monday through Sunday, so every week will be Monday through Sunday, I'll repeat, Monday through Sunday, this week is just getting familiar with your time, okay, so since it's about half week, Try to do four and a half hours this week of jam work time. So four and a half hours. Um, play around with it. It's not due till Wednesday night. Um, tomorrow night's homework is going to be continuing to work on this. Um, so I'm not going to overload you. So you've got your game plan that is due by the 5th. Stomp it out. You need to have your 50 PRVs by the 5th. Okay, that's important you stay at the top of those challenges. And your work schedule, your business hours, you're going to have that planned out and posted um, underneath this video by Wednesday at midnight. Okay, and they'll start for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The hours for this week will be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This week is more of a trial. See how it goes. See what you want to tweak for the following week, okay? Now, also, a reminder, you are still to be posting in your team page, so you're going to, every day, you should be posting in your team page. I know Vanessa posts things. I have things that post every single day now, you know, Monday, Motivational Monday. You, as a leader, need to be posting in that every single day. I wanna, I'm going to be checking and making sure that your names are popping up there because it's important that you are showing your leadership this month. All right, I'm so excited about where you're going. Um, let me know if you need help.